Yo, yo, welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. RJ and Justin here. Yo, yo. About to venture into the Capital Wasteland for the first time here in the Fallout 3 playthrough. Are we ready to go, you think? Any last revisions? I don't think so. I mean, we think we got everything perfect here. I think we're ready to go. Now, I will say, I, of course, was controlling the first two parts where, you know, we were making our way through, you know, growing up in the vault. Yep. And now Justin is taking control of our first venture outside of the vault into the wasteland. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. We have a short load time. Now, this is a pretty iconic, you know, part of the game. Perhaps the most iconic part of, you know, of anything that happens in Fallout 3. The first time you, you lay your eyes on the world. Really crazy, you know, it's just yep. so awesome how it all just focuses and, you know, the depth gets, you know, further and further. And there's so much to see in this one shot here, you know, there's just so much to look at. All right. We have Let's gained level a level. So, and that's another cool thing about this game is every time you find a new location, you do gain experience. Yep. So because of that, we have gained enough to reach level two. Okay, we have 18 skill points, so we don't have to put all the skill points in one of the categories. We can divvy them up, you know, evenly. Um, I think we should definitely put some points into small guns. That way we're nice and powerful. And uh, what do you think for the, the rest of the points? Yeah, let's consider which one of these skills are really going to be helpful early on in the game as we're, we're a low-level character, yeah. don't, don't have the best weapons, we really need to gain some caps to... Uh, and find a store to, to trade with. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, small guns are really gonna help us here. Let's um, put a bunch of points into that. And uh, I say a few into sneak. You know, so, sometimes you don't want to be detected by a creature that's gonna that whoop you. Mm -hmm. uh, speech is pretty important early on because you're talking to a lot of a lot of people. So and be, being able to leverage in a conversation with these people gains you more items, gains you more caps. Yeah. So let's put a few there. All right, let's go for it. And perhaps put the rest into science or something. Usually early on, I like to spread it out a little bit. Um, barter is important. Energy weapons we can hold off on. Explosives, uh, lockpick. Oh, lockpick vital. There we go. Sounds good. And we get to pick a perk as well. This is also cool. Um, you know, you get you know more as you continue through the game, as you get more experience. Um, the first thing to get, I mean, Daddy's Boy is always essential. You have to get that one at some point. Yep. Um, intense training is also essential. There's one that's pretty much a must get. This I, one right here, Swift Learner, uh, an additional 10% total experience whenever, you know, experience is earned. Yeah, see, that's it right there. So let's go for that. Let's get it right off the bat. All right, so here we go, man, we go. venturing into this massive world, man. Very low on life. Let's be careful. Keep an eye out. Yeah, we are. In you think fact, we should have do a, do another saves now that we're out of the um, vault, or do you think we should just ride the auto save? Yeah. With this game, you never know. Absolutely. You might want to use some stim packs. Yeah. Let's. Did you end up assigning those to the D-pad? Let's figure that out. Um, I don't think I did that yet. Oh. <laughs> this is what I did the first exactly. time I played. It's it's really hard. Uh oh. We got some dudes creeping. They they look like friendlies, as you can see on the lower left corner. Yep. Uh, the little marks there. The red ones obviously are enemies. <laughs> yeah, Justin, you're definitely gonna have to get used to the controls, as it's a little bit difficult. Exactly. I'm I'm in the middle of a Crisis Two playthrough, and you know, and on top of playing GTA and other games, you, you know, you get thrown off a little bit. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand hit up the pet boy yeah yep good luck navigating it definitely takes it's one of those things that once you get used to it it's awesome but exactly. at first it's pretty difficult to figure out where so everything's let's see, at we got the pistol equipped let's hit up the apparel uh i think we have all that taken care of let's find the stim packs hot 16 key. stim packs we're gonna hot key to the left d-pad okay so i did hot key the gun i remember i okay. did something there you go that's probably Assign pretty helpful so these guys are on our side. Probably don't want to fuck with them too much. 
Now these are the Brotherhood outcasts. Definitely, some guys we'll see a lot yeah. in the in the future. I'll be honest, I actually kill those guys all the time because <laughs> they're not in the Brotherhood. So exactly, you don't you can't piss off the Brotherhood by killing them. They still have that armor that's pretty expensive. It yep. is heavy. The gear is worth quite a bit. So I kill those guys all the time. Right now we're probably not even close to strong enough. They'll probably destroy us, no problem. Yeah. So not not really worth it to trifle with three of those guys at this time. One thing I do know, early on in this game, you have to stay on the road. Really? If you start to kind of venture out, you know, the yet-to-be-revealed Deathclaw mm -hmm. and some other monsters that even when you're, you know, ranked up in level, they're pretty hard to, to beat. Yeah. Oh, there's one t behind you. Someone, no, behind you. There's something to kill. There it is. It's okay. coming for you. It's a mole rat. All right. Our first yes, kill of a, some meat. <laughs> a mole rat. I will say, when I do play this game, I like to, uh, you know, give my character some good food. I try to prevent from eating the, the mole rat meat and stuff. I try to feed my character with some good stuff. Maybe that's just psychological. Yeah. Because you know there's going to be some radiation in that mole rat, in the mole rat meat. Going to check out the map for a second and just kind of huge map. See where we're at. Nothing is revealed yet. Not at all. That bottom right looks pretty interesting. Mm. I wonder what that could be. Yes, yes. We'll probably want to stay away from that area for a little bit, man. Some pretty tough guys. All right, so we have there. a marker there. We could check, check that out first. Interesting. Which is actually back this way. But the highway looks like it is in ruins. Man, this is really crazy. As you mentioned yep. um, earlier in the playthrough, there's just really no other game like this. This is a totally unique game as far as I'm concerned. You know, with all the RPG elements and everything combined with just the, the atmosphere, man, really something. It, it just grips you and brings you into the game. It, it just one of those one of those games that is totally you know just overwhelming you just feel like you're really a part of it exactly the visuals are so overwhelming that you know there's a great soundtrack to this game mm -hmm. but it's sparse you know sometimes you're wandering in the wasteland and uh there's not music for a while which i really like i like the simplicity of that yeah yep i agree oh, oh. Uh oh deadly dog coming oh, after no. us yeah, right now there's no music at all. Except for the sounds of the bullets entering the manged dog. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't want to grab anything from that thing. What is this? This looks pretty interesting. Definitely looks straight from Mad Max. Yep. Looks like you have a tail of a plane there in the back. Very crazy looking place. Let's and, knock on the front door. Definitely have to check it out. I mean, you'd think that our main character here, LW, is extremely scared. Entering the world, you know, fair, fairly young age here. Yep. Don't know at all what to expect. Let's have a look at LW here. Rocking the leather the jacket, the jeans. The hell is going on here? Deputy Weld? Have yourself. Have yourself a nice visit. Oh, okay, so well. we got some automated security robots. They're very inviting. And this appears to be the front door. A city called Megaton, eh? Megaton. Let's do it. Reminds me of the Megaton Hammer from The Legend of Zelda. Ah, oh, yes. So why would, why is it called Megaton? You know, I mean, that's that's an odd name for a city. It sounds like... What are you Something thinking bomb of? related. I'll be a bomb, dead. eh? Another newcomer. Oh, we have someone to invite us into Names the city. Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too. Sheriff and mayor. Eh? Wow. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you like you're us all right. already. We'll let him. So welcome to Megaton. Now. Just holler if you need something. Uh. Yeah. So that's the way it's gonna be. Just as long as. Oh, you skipped over what he said. Sorry about that. You got something you want to prove, boy? Oh, trying to start beef with Lucas Sims, are you, Justin? No, uh, we're just messing. <laughs> Fucking psycho wastelanders. Oh. Um, now, I, I will say, I do like to kill this guy, Lucas Sims. I mean, he his son's walking around, so... Yeah. You know, 
It's a little bit tough to kill him. You're going to get some guilt trips going on, but his armor's pretty good, especially his hat. I like to wear his hat as I explore the wastelands. We might have to consider that sometime in our game, our uh, playthrough here. Very nice. Perhaps kill Lucas Sims. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on. Hmm, so there's a bomb. You are correct. Here in the city. Let's discuss this. Wow, there we go. That's the great sure thing about thing, this game. Partner. There's so many options to find? on the conversation menu and, and so many ways it could go. You could really get, find yourself in trouble if you're, you know, talking back to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the there is, man. Is down in the a clinic. lot of okay, choices. So we, we have a clinic in Megaton, a weapons dealer. You'll probably... You know, your typical uh, RPG... City. Exactly. Sure is. Moriarty's. Yeah, I will say the hospital Just here is one of... The places North I like to stop a lot. It's a great place to get stim packs. Up at Moriarty's. Um, you know, it's always good to have plenty of stim packs on hand. You can never really have enough. I, I mean, I like to carry hundreds. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of the you know stuff off why? off screen as far as selling equipment, getting supplies and stuff like that. Of course, we'll do a lot of that off screen um, once we actually show you what it's all about. But, uh, you know, oh, most right. of what we'll show you guys will come, uh, you know, as far as exploring and, and doing some main storylines <laughs> here in the game. So he's offered me about 100 caps here to try to disarm the bomb, which we're not going to do. Yeah, we definitely don't want to disarm it for now. Let's uh, But uh, we might want to... You're the one. <laughs> nice. We might want to have him think that we're looking into it, you know what I mean? Just to, right. so he thinks we're useful. Let's meet some more people. Check out the stores. Ah, look at how stupid it looks when he runs in this view, man. I hated that. I felt like that's the one bad thing about the game. I wish it looked better in, you know, this view. Yeah. The guy just, the footsteps do not match up at all. But there you have it. There is the huge bomb in the center of the city. It's like people are saying some prayers here. Don't step in the water. the power of Atom. Let those who dwell here in his the atomic land. bomb. Well, let's see what we can do with it. Probably not much of anything yet because, you know, we don't know too much. It looks like you have to have a good science skill. Exactly. Which we do have a boost in that. We do. And that's one of the first skills that we should really focus on improving. Yeah. I think we kind of pre-decided that we're going to keep the, bo the bomb disarmed for, for the time being. Sure. There are missions later where you can detonate it, but then again, uh, we talked about how important this city is pretty much throughout the game. You end up uh, gaining your own apartment and mm -hmm. the dealing with the lady that runs the weapon store. That really helps you out. That helps you gain some caps in an easy way. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm not too sure about. You know, I know we get like a house here eventually. I'm yeah. And we haven't played. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm not positive how how we're gonna unlock a lot of the stuff. We'll do it along the way. Yep. And uh, I was trying to think. I can't remember if you get additional, you know, houses and apartments throughout the wasteland. I guess we'll find out. Here we have Doc Church. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go ask me Find this for guy help, annoying, you but he's also rules. someone Rule one, we'll have to talk don't to me. a lot because he's got if some pretty good supplies. Me, you better be damn near. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched and, up. And, you know, a lot of times you break your leg, something like that. You got to come talk to old Doc here and he'll fix you up with no problems. Well, a lot of things can go wrong Boy, with your character in this are game. Are you bothering yeah, absolutely. me? Because I think we talked about what happens when... <laughs> Uh, no. That's a rip. Then, hmm. Yeah, a good place to buy medical supplies, and he, he is kind of annoying, but uh, another good feature about the conversation in this game, yourself. you can get everyone's backstory on whatever, pretty much whatever town you're in, yeah. or any any story that you're kind of coming into within any area. Hmm. Nice place he's got here for, you know, a wasteland. It's not terrible, I guess you could say. Um, we, what do you think about our health? So I guess we'll hold off on healing ourselves for now. Yeah, we have a, a, you know, quite a few stem packs that'll help that for now. That was, that was the clinic. Let's find the weapon store. Let's see if we can upgrade our 
armor and gun. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's good see luck if we finding even have it, any man. Caps to begin with. This this is a pretty yeah. hard place. To, I know. I was thinking about that. This is a pretty hard place to navigate. Zero. We have zero caps. All right. Not good. All right. So that means with no money, there's not much we're gonna be able to do. Yep. There's the crater side supply. Okay, so, so this must be. That's the, exactly the where you were store. looking for. This is another very good place to to enter. In fact. This chick here uh, has a mission to offer as well that we're going to want to take her up on. Yeah. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly <laughs> tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the forward by a vault dweller. Help me out, So, would she you? knows we're a vault dweller already, and that, of course, you know, great. is pretty cool with her. She Just wants tell to me do what experiments it's like on to us. Live and underground all your life. And get our uh, or, take or to come on outside the world. for the first time. And by helping or her out, whatever in strikes the end, your fancy. She will be rewarding you with, you know, discounts in her store, but also some, some good items. So Yeah, definitely. As I mentioned, we definitely want to take her up on this mission. It's yes. one of the, the best things to do right away in the game. It'll take you to some pretty cool areas. And, uh, you know, like you mentioned, definitely reward you with some stuff that's going to help us out. As of right now, we have no caps. We don't have much of anything. She yeah. just gave us, she gave us an armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. And that's probably stronger well, than the, it's the a dangerous tunnel place snakes out there jack in the that we waste, have now, right? so we'll want to switch People up to that. People could really use a compilation right, so of good advice, a compilation like a wasteland survival guide. For, wasteland survival guide. for that, mm. I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when yeah. that happens. Right. No, Except then they just hurt. yell a lot no at me <laughs> with mean, mean words. Let's yeah. go ahead and help her out. Yeah, let's help her out. Let's be Good nice to her. Good enthusiasm. Nice now, too. I think the first chapter mm. will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food. Ooh. So there's three different missions we can start off by doing. I recommend getting food first. That's the easiest one. The landmines is pretty difficult. There's a sniper in that area, so that's a good place to get like your first sniper in the game, I find. Right. Um, but it's also well, difficult because he's, he's a crack shot. Everyone needs yeah, them once in a while, medicine. right? There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know Super if a place Duper like Mart, that yes. still has any food or medicine Perhaps left in it. Perhaps that'll be the first location we go visit, the Super Duper Should Mart. Should I try to renegotiate a little bit here? Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine. But I... while you're away, I can at least... Excellent. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. All right. Map marker added. Excellent. I love the way the, the quests are set up in this game mm -hmm. you know, on the menu. And, God, there's so many. I mean, by the end of the game, oh, yeah. how many are on the list? There's quite a, quite a lot. Right, so it looks like we have a mission. Looks like she can do a little bit of everything, repair. Yeah, she definitely can do a lot. She's very helpful. She sells a lot oh, yeah. of good equipment. You can buy guns from her. She already gave us some new armor, so we'll want to hmm. definitely, you know, equip that. And uh, we shall head to the Super Duper Mart. That's Looks pretty like much Dad all we can vis do. did visit Megaton when he left the vault, so we're going to yeah. ask someone else around town about that. Yeah, that's uh, certainly... We could ask her about the bomb. Keep going about the research. Nah, let's move on. Absolutely. Try not to die. <laughs> we'll come back when we get some more caps. It's hilarious. Everybody's so cheerful about being in a, you know, such a gloomy world here. Well, what do you say? Let's hit the mission right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think there's not much more we can do here. We only have zero caps, or we have zero caps. We don't have any resources at this point. Um, I think we should be able to handle it out there in the world. Uh, maybe Lucas has one more thing to say before we head out. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. Let's ask him about outside Megaton. Sure. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. Hmm. To the south, you've got Rivet City. Rivet City, eh? But don't bother going to D.C. The 
place is a war DC. zone. Wow. All right, so there you have it. That's a pretty good uh, tip. Mind you. Let's now. make our way out, and hopefully we can survive. We'll try to make it all the way to the grocery store, and who knows what we can find inside. Let's check it out. Now I can see why the VAT system is going to be so useful in this game. Yeah. Especially early on. Being able, it's basically, you know, a, you can stop time, have mm -hmm. a perfect aim. It, otherwise, this game would be, you know, quite a challenge. Yes. On top Archer. of the challenge that already lies ahead. Try Moriarty's coldest drink. We never checked, we didn't check out Moriarty's yet, so we'll definitely have to look at that next time we head into Nuketown. Yep. Or not Nuketown, Megaton. All right. The, the, uh, the missions concerning the dad are quite long and they, they extend you know the length of the game mm -hmm. so there's really no need to jump into that right away I think improving our character you know souping up LW here a little bit yeah that's gonna be key right now Ooh, what do we have over here ah. yep definitely we definitely are gonna want to strengthen up as fast as possible um, with all RPGs especially games like this in Skyrim one of the things I focus on right away is you know, getting better armor, stuff like that. Right. All right, what the hell is this thing? What is this, a little, a little drone or something? Wow, that's crazy looking. It's a floating drone of some kind. Doesn't look too friendly. It's like a sphere shape. Yeah, you never know what's going to try to kill you out here. Yep. It almost feels like everybody that you meet expects you to die. There's a nuke town or a, a Nuka Cola machine over there. You might want to check that out as well. Yeah, Nuka Colas. What are you checking oh, out? There's let's the check out the map. Super duper Super marts duper. over there. You have not discovered. Let's place the marker over there so we know where we're going. <laughs> this place is so very massive. wise not to stray too far. All right. Now, if you go up to the Nuka Cola machines, a lot of times you can break into them which is certainly pretty useful. You get some bottle caps yes. as well as some Nuka Cola, which gives you health. So it's kind of like a mini stim pack of sorts. Yep. You gotta love the games where you have to explore everything and there's so much hidden things in, in really small places. Definitely. You're gonna wanna check through these houses. You never know when you'll find a safe or you know some valuables. We are definitely a treasure hunter. You know, we have to find stuff i mean you never know when you find a treasure that's worth a lot of bottle caps and that's definitely going to help you out in the game the more bottle caps you have the more uh you know the better off you are so you are here in springvale it is a city that is apparently completely in ruins i don't see any survivors population zero and now that we have discovered springvale Mm -hmm. We can come back to it anytime on the map. Uh, you can fast travel to the locations you've discovered. Mm -hmm. So that, that, again, is mighty useful in such a, such a tough game, but such a vast open map. Yeah. Looks like we can get into that water tower there. Let's check that out. Let's see if anything's going on here. Open the gate. What do we got? Do not drink. <laughs> you will get radiation. Actually, you might want to drink it because we do need health, and it is free health. We could always get healed up by the dock. Yummy. A little nuclear water never hurt nobody. Come on. I mean, you know, at this point, who cares? <laughs> What's exactly. worse? Give in. You're in the nuclear wasteland already. Yep. So, we are venturing off. There's something in that house there. That looks interesting. Is that something maybe we could break into? It's a refrigerator. And there's a cabinet in there as well. Perfect. Yes. Food. Some cram and uh, mac and cheese. In the other corner there, to the right, there was something else. Maybe there's something good in there. Uh, or okay. not. <laughs> At least they tell you when it's empty, so you don't have to open it like some games, and then it's empty. That's good. You know. Also, you might want to check the mailboxes as well, because sometimes... Uh, not much value. 
But yeah, there might even be some mail in some of the mailboxes. So mm. always good to yeah. check those as well. All right, so. All right, obviously the highlight of the city. The Red the Rocket. City. Red Rocket. Yep, not much to see here in Springvale. So you could duck down all the way to get into a stealth mode. Definitely going to come in handy at some point in the game when we are surrounded by a lot of creatures far stronger than us. Yeah, I think the one thing missing in this game is some kind of vehicle, considering how, like I said, how big the map is. Mm -hmm. Some, so even if it's some like a bicycle, geez, how helpful would that be? Yeah, that's a good point. Definitely a good point. I never really thought about that too much about how there is no vehicle in the game. I guess I didn't really think about it because it's so rocky, you know, that you right. need you need some kind of big doom buggy. But you know, this game has a lot of its roots from Mad Max, and as we know from Mad Max, there's certainly some doom buggies in that movie. Yep. of all kinds so you know that, that is strange i think we're all looking forward to fallout 4 which is supposed to be coming out on the newer systems what are you looking at <laughs> i was running the wrong way oh geez so uh yeah we definitely cannot wait till fallout 4 comes out oh, oh boy yeah the mole rat has come back for revenge Yes, it epic, is definitely epic crippled. death scenes, man. The, the, it's very similar to the Skyrim, you know, slow mo death scene, but mm -hmm. probably the best in the business. Absolutely. So here it is. This is the massive capital wasteland. Well we have done. a lot to get into Dude. here, a lot to explore, and I am actually looking forward to getting to the grocery store because that's that in itself is one of the most memorable locations for me. Exactly. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting over to the Super Duper Mart. There's probably going to be, you know, something in there I can imagine. As, you know, you can imagine a grocery store is going to have a lot of good resources. Yeah. So I Who don't... Who knows what we'll find. I don't think it's going to be easy, that's for sure. Who or what will be lurking? So let's go ahead and leave it off for this next... Or for this part. We'll catch you in the next episode, guys. Peace out.